Hey guys, this is ProGaming2008 and welcome to another computing video. I'm really excited about this one. Today we're going to use this Neck PowerMate VR370, which is a business machine from around 2008. And we're going to turn it into a Windows XP retro gaming PC. We are going to show you how you can do this and if you're going to get decent performance or not. So the stock specs, uh, we have a uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive, we have a uh, AMD iPhone 64 X2 4400 plus, I think it runs at 2.3 gigahertz, so this is a dual core. It has 2 gigs of DDR2 memory, so this is also left in this machine, stock. The only thing that I changed was adding a GPU, I added a GeForce GT210 because this is the only card I have on hand that is powerful for Windows XP and other components like the PSU and the cooler are stock the cooler is proprietary so it is stock as well so everything else is stock apart from the uh, GPU and also I replaced the optical drive because the original one was not working so I had to replace it with this one but everything else apart from the uh, DVD drive and the uh, GPU is stock and today we are going to turn this machine into a Windows XP retro gaming PC we have some benchmarks with games like Fear, Far Cry and even Assassin's Creed and we're going to see how this machine performs with the uh, stock components apart from the GPU there's a small downside about this motherboard and this computer the motherboard on here is quite proprietary you can still install a normal power supply, so that is really good. Um, however, the front panel uh, connectors are proprietary, so you cannot install this into a normal ATX or micro ADX case. Also, um, the uh, motherboard is on the left of the case instead of the right. The cooler place is also proprietary, so you cannot install a normal uh, AMD cooler. But, but the uh, stock cooler here is already uh, pretty good, it handles up to 95 or 125 watts. So the stock cooler is good enough if, even if you want to pull, put a uh, dual core or a quad core processor for example. Well I'm going to do the front panel and the USB connections off camera because they are just um, really painful to plug them while filming because I have to film at different angles if I want to do so. There we go, the uh, front panel and USB and other connections are now plugged in. It was pretty much power painful to put them, so I had really to uh, turn off the camera. But now, there we go, they are all plugged in. And now we're going to start putting the components. I'm going to start with the CPU, the Athlon 64X2 4400+. Plus. should be enough there we go I put just a bit more just in case if it doesn't spread the entire die and there we go now we're going to install the stock cooler which has a fan on the front of it and hot air gets pushed off this side so let's just screw them in the holes There we go, every screw is now in, and of course we need to plug in the fan, which is this uh, brown 4-pin connector. There we go, the cooler and the CPU are ready to go. Now we're going to put some RAM, 2 gigabytes of RAM, so we have two 1 gigabyte 667 megahertz sticks, and we're going to put them in the uh, blue slots, the two blue slots. There we 
There we go. We have now two gigs of RAM installed in there, and now it, it's let's install the GPU. There we go. The uh, these things are now off. I don't know where, where, how it's called, but there we go. They are now off. And well, we're going to install this Gigabyte GeForce GT 210. It has VGA, HDMI, and DVI. If you're using HDMI with a uh, modern TV, do it. You will get uh, decent sound. The good news is that you don't even need screws to uh, secure the GPU to the case. You just need to flip this thing and there we go. The GPU is secure enough. Next we're going to install the Seagate Barracuda 500GB hard drive. It has been fully wiped with a Windows 7 computer so it shouldn't have any issues with bad sectors or anything. I did a full format. There we go, you just install it like this. This is a screwless uh, hard drive base. You can put two three and a half inch hard drives because there's two slots screwless, which is really helpful with uh, screwing the hard drives or over tightening the screws. We don't have a pain with that, which is really good. Last but not least, we are going to install the uh, stock power supply of this machine, the FSP 250 dash 60 GCN a 250 watt power supply and this should be enough for the uh, GT210 and the entire system this one needs screws so that's a little bit unfortunate but uh, most power supplies for cases cases for power supplies are need to be screwed in just like always so yeah you will need screws for almost every case you want to put a PSU in. There we go, the PSU is now installed. Now we just need to plug in all the necessary cables. The build is now ready to go. Let's fire it up, go into the BIOS, and install Windows. First, I chose Windows XP X64 Edition, since I've never actually gamed on that operating system uh, for a long time, and I've decided to give it a shot again, see if it's uh, good for compatibility.
That concludes the benchmarks for the Neck Palmade VL370, a 2008 business machine. So, even though you have a business machine, I proved you that you can turn this into a Windows XP retro gaming PC. If it, it is not powerful enough with the stock components, you can still upgrade them. You can upgrade the power supply, you can upgrade the CPU as well, and also since this is Socket AM2+, it does support some socket AM3 processors, but I just put in the stock CPU, the Athlon 64X to 4400 plus, just because it is so powerful for Windows XP era games. It is more than enough, so we're getting really decent performance in games like Fear, Far Cry, and Assassin's Creed. The bottleneck is just the GT210, so the GPU, but if you get a better one like a Radeon HD 7570 or something like that, then you're going to get a lot better performance. So that concludes also the video. Thank you for watching. I hope this really entertained you a lot. And if you want to have a good time and you don't have a lot of money, then you could pick up one of those business machines and turn it into a Windows XP retro gaming PC. And then you will have a really good time. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, take care, 
and see you. Greetings from Hatsune Miku.